All right, and millions of children from low-income families have gotten help from a program called the Children's Health Insurance Program, or CHIP. Almost 430,000 of those kids live right here in Florida. But last week, Congress allowed federal funding for CHIP to expire, jeopardizing children's access to doctors, dentists, even life-saving prescription medications. Joining us now to talk about what that means is Cindy Ehrenberg-Seltzer, who is president of Children's Services Council of Broward County, which does such a great job for kids and families in Broward County. And we're glad you're here to talk to us about this is a very important topic. What does it mean for the children of Broward County and for the children of South Florida overall? Well, it can be devastating for those families, Rick. You know, I'm a mom and I take great comfort in the fact that I can bring my daughter to the doctor whenever I need to because I have good insurance through my employer. But if you're not so lucky and you're a low income family, you need to have access to purchase insurance. And through Kid Care, they can get it for as little as $15 a month. That's an incredible benefit to their child. And Cindy, this isn't a brand new program. It's been around for 20 years, has always gotten bipartisan support. So what exactly happened now? Oh, I wish I could tell you. If I could <laughs> understand Washington, I would not be sitting here in Florida. But um, the fact of the matter is it had to be reauthorized. In 2015, it was certified for two years. It needed to be authorized. And while Congress was busy fighting over the ACA, this just sort of fell by the wayside, and September 30th it expired. And it has gotten so little fanfare, it's been driving me crazy. Well, you know, of course, there are people out there very concerned about federal deficits, about overspending. They said we have to watch every single penny. Uh, and so there are going to be programs at times that need to be cut. So what would you say to those people that say, well, look, you know, this is a nice program. It was nice to have it in place, but we, we've got to really sort of watch how we spend our money. I agree. You do have to be careful how you spend your money, but children's health is not the place to balance the budget. I would be happy to go up there and help them find the dollars that they need to fund this important program. Our children need to be able to get the health care that they deserve, and this should not be a partisan issue. So, so what can be done exactly? I know we tell people, call your, your, call your lawmakers, try to get some sort of activism going here, but who really can step in to fix this issue right now? Well, I think we saw under this battle with the ACA that Congress was moved by personal stories. And so we have thousands of families out there in South Florida right now, many of whom are panicking. And I want to be sure to let them know that they shouldn't panic. Florida right now has enough money left over from last fiscal year to carry us through to January. So don't panic immediately about your child. However, you should call your congressman now. It really is a problem in the House of Representatives more so than the Senate at this time. So call your, your um, federal representative and let them know what this means to you and how it's helped you and your child. You make a good point because the money for this program was coming from Washington, but a large chunk of it was also coming from, from each of the states. All the states were contributing to it as well. Florida's got some money in reserves to help cover the cost for a little while. How much more time do we have for these families that are dependent on this program? We have about until January, so that's going to come up very quickly. Congress needs to act because, remember, the House has to pass it, the Senate has to pass it, they have to agree, the President has to sign it. All of that takes some time. And uh, we are in a fairly lucky posture compared to some other states that are going to run out of money at the end of October. So we have a little time here in Florida, but... Not a lot. Not a mm -hmm. lot. Well, we're glad that you're here to help shed light on this important story. Uh, Cindy Ehrenberg Seltzer is president of Children's Services Council of Broward County. Always nice to see you. Thanks very much for coming in. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you. you.